and welcome to Market Vision's Short Takes. I'm Deepak Shanoi and I'm going to talk to you today about bond yields. You hear statements often like the 10 year bond is at 8.19%. Now, what does that mean and why is it important to you? Let's go back to the basics. The ultra basics are governments and companies borrow money, they give you bonds. An example could be a face value or a par value of 100 rupees per bond, paying a coupon of say 8%, that means they are paying you an interest of 8% per year and this matures in 2020. That means in 2020 you get back your principal. The interest payment typically on government bonds is every 6 months. That means in this example it's 4 rupees every 6 months. And in 2020 you get back the full 100 rupees. Now if you buy the bond, you pay the government 100 rupees, you can get the bond, you can sell the bond to someone else in the bond market tomorrow. You don't have to wait for the entire 10 years. Right? So let's look at bond markets. <clears throat> there are simply places where you buy and sell bonds, uh, trade with other investors. A 100 rupee bond may be trading at 90 rupees, 110 rupees, whatever. What makes the price change? Does it depend entirely on demand and supply? Partly. But it's not just that and to understand what impacts the price, you have to understand the concept of yield, right? Let's take a simple example. Let's take a 100 rupee bond that pays 8% interest per year. <clears throat> Let's take two scenarios of price. One is 100, 110 rupees and one is 90 rupees. The interest that you get for giving 110 rupees for that bond or 90 rupees for that bond is exactly 8 rupees per year because the coupon is 8% it's always on the par value which is 100 rupees that means you'll get 8 rupees per year in one case you're paying 110 rupees and in another case you're paying 90 rupees the yield is straightforward 8 rupees divided by the amount you purchase that means 110 which is 7.27 percent for the 110 rupee priced bond or 8 by 90 which is 8.989 percent on the other case but this is very simplistic right this is called current yield <coughs> you can reinvest the interest that you receive you get 4 rupees back every 6 months this can be reinvested back into the bond and you have paid 90 rupees for a bond which is a 100 rupee face value that means at the end of 10 years you will get 100 rupees back this is a small capital gain in that case and you pay 110 rupees for the bond then you will get only 100 rupees back after 10 years so this is a small capital loss to take into account all this you know you put in 110 today you get 4 rupees every 6 months for the next 10 years at the end of 10 years uh, you get back the entire amount that is 100, 100 rupees that you get back you also reinvest the interest payments that you receive what is a uniform rate across the entire period that is what is called yield to maturity okay there's a complex way to calculate it I won't go into the calculations of that suffice it to say you can use a calculator that are available on the net you get them in pocket calculators nowadays or you can use an excel formula called yield y e i e l d and this is called the yield to maturity YTM and this is what they mean when they call when they say yield in the bond markets and bond articles or, or, or references an example of the two take the same bond we've talked about 10 year 8% coupon 100 rupee face value half yearly interest the 110 price gives you a current yield of 7.27% the yield to maturity using that complex calculation I used Excel I found it was 6.62 percent you pay 90 rupees the current yield is 8.89 the yield to maturity is 9.58 it's much higher because there's a capital gain involved and so on this the calculation takes care of all of that now you'll notice that the 110 rupee bond the yield to maturity is lesser than the current yield the current yield is lesser than the coupon rate of 8 percent and in the other case when you pay a discount that means you pay 90 rupees for 100 rupee bond the yield to maturity is higher than the current yield and the current yield is higher than the coupon that's the way it's supposed to be in excel the formula is yield you give the date of purchase that means assuming you would have gotten the bond today you give the redemption date that means the end the 2020 10 year later date 8% which is the coupon on the bond 
the market value 110 in this case it could be 90 in another case could be anything else that's in the market any any given point in time 100 rupees is what you get on maturity the 100 rupee face value and two is the number of coupon payments a year annuals are one quarterlies are four half yearlies are two now as the price changes goes up the yield goes down you see that when it was 90 8.89 percent current yield and 9.58 percent yield to maturity they go down to seven and six uh, appropriately when the price became 110 so price goes up yield goes down and the other way around as time goes by the price closes in on the par value which is 100 so it may be very different today but as you come closer and closer to 2020 with the same yield price will close in on the par value right and at par that means if the bond trades at 100 rupees the yield ytm coupon everything is the same a convergence point if you may now why do yields change there are yield expectations set in the marketplace let's look at a 100 rupee bond eight percent let's say it's trading at 100 it's trading at par right and if the rbi increases interest rates today people may say I want 9% on this bond. It's a 10 year bond. RBI has just increased rates. I want 9%. The coupon is the same. It's 8%. They're going to pay you 8 rupees per 100 rupee bond. For 9% yield, the same bond will fall down. The yield expected has gone higher. Price will fall down. It will fall down 93 rupees 50 pesa. As you can see, because there are 10 years left, the 1% change in yield has resulted in a 7%, 6.5% change in the price. And that difference is huge because there's 10 years left. As it comes, as you get closer and closer to expiry, this same 1% change will lead to a smaller change in the price. In Excel, the formula to find out what price it would trade at a different yield is called PRICE or price. Now, yields change in the market based on a demand and supply. There's a lot of demand for a certain bond and not much supply. People may be willing to pay more for it. That will reduce the yield automatically the yield expectations or interest rates if they change in the market the price will obviously change and people usually change expectations or yield expectations based on the risk profile so for government bonds are very secure people don't expect that government will say no I can't pay you back but certain corporates for instance they may go bankrupt there may be a risk of them not being able to pay you back so people say, well, that's risky. I want more yield. So I'm going to pay a much lower price. The same bond, uh, if I would pay 90 rupees, if it was a government bond, I may pay only 70 rupees if it's a corporate bond. It's the way the structure of the market is. There are other factors that impact it, but these are largely the three big factors that impact bonds, bond prices. So let's look at the points that we've talked about. Yields, we've got current yield and yield to maturity. When we talked about quoted values that typically yield to maturity both for government and corporate bonds these are balloon payment bonds so typically uh, when you take a home loan for instance you always pay part of the principal every month part of the uh, interest every month and and so on but in when you buy a bond they only pay you the interest over the next x years and at the end they pay you a big payment which is back the principal back again right so they don't pay you any part of the principal for the term until the last payment now we'll cover certain topics separately i'm sure the questions about where these bonds quoted how do you buy and sell bonds how do you calculate ytm let's leave that for different short takes but i hope this has been educative and it's been fun bringing it to you talk to us visit our forums and thanks for listening